Welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas Rana. We are one stop solution for current affairs. You can find our Crack Current Affairs course on our application exclusively for current affairs, where you will be getting daily, weekly, and monthly current affairs on a regular basis. You can use code Vikas10 to get additional 10% discount while purchasing the course. This video is available both in English and Hindi. The timestamp for both English and Hindi are mentioned in the description of each video. You can contact us on the number provided or mail provided. Also, follow us on Telegram and Instagram, and the link for the same is provided in the description of each video. Also, students, we have started a new initiative that is of handwritten notes. It is helpful to understand the news daily, time saving, and very useful for your revision. We aim to cover 15 questions via handwritten notes in upcoming bank exams. These handwritten notes are available on Daily Current Affairs content PDF at our mobile application and website carriercloud.in. Only our Crack Current Affairs subscribers will be able to access these handwritten notes. A sample PDF of the handwritten notes will be available in the description. Hello everyone. So students, in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for the topic index and defense sector. This is for the August month. The session will be very important and interesting and it will be very important for the competitive exams. Let's start with our questions. The first question is name the highest rank that is 86th Indian firm on the Fortune Global 500 list for 2024. This is the rank at global scale, uh, global level, but in India, that is on the first position. That is your RIL, Reliance Industries Limited, right? They have recently topped the list in India and globally it is at 86th position on the Fortune Global 500 list for 2024, right? Take a note of this. And this is for the 21st consecutive year that India, this firm RIL, they have ranked first in India. Then globally, if we talk about which is the company that secured the first position, it is Walmart. Next, which organization has recently released World Development Report 2024 highlighting that India would take approximately 75 years to reach one quarter of the US income per capita. So this data was released by World Bank and it stated that India would take approximately 75 years to reach at the per capita income of US that is right now, right? And whereas if we talk about China, it would take more than 10 years and Indonesia, it would take almost 70 years. Next, according to the World Trade Organization report titled World Trade Statistical Review, India was ranked what in global agriculture exports in 2023 with an export value of $51 billion. So India was ranked at eighth position with an export value that is equal to $51 billion, right? It is European Union that secured the first position with an export value of $836 billion, followed by USA at second and Brazil at third. Next, which organization released the global employment trends for youth 2024 report that highlights that the global youth unemployment rate in 2023 decreased to 13% representing a 15 year low. It is ILO, International Labor Organization, right? So this is your global youth unemployment rate of 2023, right? It decreased to 13%, which represents a 15 year low, right? In 2023, we talk about, if we talk about the number 64.9 million young people were unemployed in 2023. Next, which institution was ranked the first in the overall category according to the ninth edition of the India ranking based on the National Institutional Ranking Framework that is NIRF. So it is IIT Madras, correct? So our education minister Dharmendra Pradhan, he released this report. This is the ninth edition of Indian ranking and it is based on the parameters of NIRF that is National Institutional Ranking Framework and according to them it is IIT Madras uh, IIT Madras that is in Chennai Tamil Nadu has secured the top position among the country institutions right and it is for the sixth time they secured the first position here in India on second position it is IISC Bangalore right and third position was of IIT Bombay Next, 
which organization's recent report stated that India lost 33.9 million hectares of crop due to excess rains and additional 35 million hectare due to the drought during 2015 to 2021. This report was released by World Economic Forum WEF and India they have seen unparalleled growth and development in recent decades and we are seeing that this growth can be hindered further because of the climate change that include your heat waves, floods, earthquake and irregular monsoon. Next, according to periodic labor force survey quarterly bulletin report released by NSO that is your national statistical office, the unemployment rate in urban areas among the persons that are aged between 15 years and above was how much percent from April to June quarter of FY25. It was 6.6% in June, April to June quarter. If we talk about unemployment rate among the males aged 15 years and above decreased to 5.8% in April to June 2024, right? Whereas if we talk about the female, it was around 9%. Next, which Indian company is ranked 70th in the Forbes Cloud 100 2024 list? It is Razorpay. This is the Indian company that has ranked 70th in the Forbes Cloud 100 2024 list. Correct, take a note of this. This is the ninth edition of the annual ranking of the world's top private cloud computing companies. And this year, this is the third consecutive time that Razorpay has appeared on this list and it is the only company that is listed on this list. Who has secured the top position? It is OpenAI that has secured the first position here. Next, which family was ranked first in the Barclays Private Clients Huron India Most Valuable Family Business List in 2024? It is Ambani family. They have ranked first in the Barclays Private Clients Huron India Most Valuable Family Business List in 2024. Right on second position, it is your Bajaj family. And on third position is the Birla family. Next, which organization has recently released an annual report stating that India's overall tele density increased from 84.51% at the end of March 2023 to 85.69% at the end of March 2024? It is TRAI, that is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. The report it is backed by the data from various service providers and the Ministry of Communication. Next, according to Brand Finance Food and Drink 2024 report, Dash has emerged as the world's strongest food and dairy brand with a triple A plus rating. So, which is that brand? It is Amul, right? They have emerged as the world's strongest food and dairy brand with triple A plus rating for the fourth consecutive time. Here, the Amul brand's value has increased by 11% to $3.3 billion with a brand strength index of 91 out of 100. Correct, take a note of this. Which is the organization that secured the world's for first position in the world's most valuable brand? Or we can say which is the world's most valuable food brand here? It is Nestle. Nestle is out based out of Switzerland. Next, which Indian city ranked second in the annual price rise of prime residential properties during the second quarter of 2024 calendar year, according to the Prime Global Cities Index second quarter by Knight Frank. So this data was released by which organization? It is Knight Frank that released it. And this is the second annual price rise of prime residential properties list. So sorry, which city ranked second in the annual price rise of prime residential properties and which city ranked first year that also you need to tell me so on the second position it is mumbai that secured the first position right then on third position it is delhi and the, on this list the first position was secured by manila manila is the capital city of philippines right so these are your important uh, index current affairs now students, let's move to some defense related questions. Which organization has recently received the clearance from Indian Air Force to produce 200 Astra Mark 1 air to air missile? That will be your Bharat Dynamics Limited, that is your BDL. They have received the clearance from Indian Air Force to produce 200 such Astra Mark 1 air to air missile. Correct? These Astra Mark 1, these are indigenously designed 
and developed missiles that is beyond visual range system and this is a path of extra program only also remember the maximum speed that can be attained by these missiles are 4.5 mac next name india's first multinational air exercise that recently began their operation at sulur air base in kompitor tamil nadu what is the name of that exercise it is tarang shakti right this is the first multinational air exercise that should will be conducted on the indian soil after 61 years what is the location location here is at the sulur air base in kompitor tamil nadu correct take a note of this and more than 30 countries will be participating in this exercise next name the large scale strike corps exercise conducted by indian army in the union territory of ladakh in august that will be your parvat prahar right this is a mountain parvat prahar means that is your mountain strike exercise this is a large scale exercise that will be conducted in the union territory of ladakh it will be conducted by whom it will be conducted by indian army next name the bilateral air exercise conducted between indian air force and royal malaysian air force from 5th to 9th of august in kuantan malaysia what is the name of that exercise it is udara shakti correct what is the location where this exercise will be held it will be held in malaysia this is important location you all need to remember this will be held between indian air force and royal malaysian air force correct then from indian air force here sukhoi 30 fighter jet will be taking part next name the 10th edition of the joint military exercise conducted between the armies of india and sri lanka which commenced on 12th of august in sri lanka what is the name of that exercise this is mitra shakti this is the 10th edition of this exercise it is held between our country india and sri lanka right this annual exercise started in 2012 and this year in 2024 it was the ninth edition of this exercise that was conducted next which company has recently received the approval from indian navy to construct six advanced submarines in partnership with the germany's thyskrupp marine systems under the project 75 india initiative so which is the company they have received the approval from indian navy to construct six advanced submarines so it is your mudgaon dock shipbuilders limited this project is estimated to be around 6000 60000 crore rupees next india is scheduled to commence full scale opera or full scale production of 4.5 generation plus light combat aircraft mark 2 fighter jets from 2029 onwards right take a note of this next name the long range glide bomb that recently underwent a successful maiden flight test conducted by drdo what is the name of that long range glide bomb the name is gaurav g a u r a b it is drdo right they have recently uh, or drdo along with indian army they have recently conducted the firing test of this indigenously developed man portable anti tank guided missile by the name gaurav what is the location where was this tested this was tested in rajasthan in jaisalmer rajasthan this was tested and it was tested in using sukhoi 30 mark 1 fighter jet next which company has recently partnered with ai engineering service limited to provide in country maintenance repair and overhaul service for the 12 boeing p8i of the indian navy so it is boeing company they will be partnering with ai engineering service limited to provide in country maintenance repair and overhaul service for the 12 boeing p8i aircraft of the indian navy next indian army they have transferred the technology of dash an unmanned ground vehicle to private indian company for mass production right so indian army they have transferred the technology that is tot of exploder that is an unmanned ground vehicle the technology for this has been transferred to the private companies so that mass production of this exploder can be carried out next name the second indigenous nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine commissioned into the indian navy on 29th of august at visakhapatnam andhra pradesh the name here is ins arikhat right this is the second 
न्यूक्लियर पावर्ड ब्लास्टिक मिसाइल सबमरीन टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस राइट आई एन एस अरिहंत वॉज द फर्स्ट देन आई एन एस अरीघात इज द सेकेंड है करेक्ट सो स्टूडेंट दीज आर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स नाउ लेट्स मूव टू सम रिविजन पार्ट दैट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर लर्निंग नेक्स्ट इन विच सिटी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टील हैज रिसेंटली होस्टेड द इवेंट टाइटल ग्रीनिंग स्टील पाथवे टू सस्टेनेबिलिटी दिस बेसिकली मीन्स दैट हाउ कैन वी जनरेट स्टील यूजिंग सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी एंड ग्रीन एनर्जी राइट इंस्टेड ऑफ क्रिएटिंग पॉल्यूशन एंड ऑल्सो टू प्रोवाइड मार्केट्स विद वेरियस इंसेंटिव इट दे प्रोड्यूस दिस ग्रीन स्टील राइट इफ देर विल बी अ डिमांड ऑफ ग्रीन स्टील देन वी विल बी सींग दैट दिस स्टील ओनली दैट विल बी produced using the renewable source of energy green energy then it will provide a greater demand also and the re re regular steel that is in the market will not be produced by the manufacturers so in which city ministry of steel has hosted this event greening steel pathway to sustainability it was hosted in new delhi next which ministry has recently notified certain provisions of the competition amendment act 2023 to restructure the merger control regime with effect from 10th of september 2024 it is ministry of corporate affairs right these regulations mandate regulatory clearances from the cci for the delays exceeding for the deals exceeding 2000 crore rupees and also the transactions involving entities with assets below 450 crore rupees or turnover under 1250 crore rupees are exempt from the cci approval next which organization has recently introduced partnerships for accelerated innovation and research that is pair that is a multi institutional initiative to boost research in higher education institutions that means a institution that is a well equipped having multiple technologies that can do research and development they can partner with smaller institutions that can help them to also gain momentum in the research and development so this is your peer initiative correct question asked is which organization has introduced this peer initiative it was introduced by anusandhan national research foundation and recently prime minister narendra modi correct chaired the india's first meeting of this governing body of anrf where was this held at his residence in new delhi this was the first initiative pair apart from pair one more initiative was launched here that is maha initiative that is mission for advancement in high impact area this is a mission mode program that will accelerate research in key strategic and particular emerging area say for example in today's world it is machine learning artificial intelligence drone technology space sector and so on Next name the country where the Indian Navy's P8I aircraft recently reached to participate in the 16th edition of exercise Kakandu. So which is that country where Indian Navy P8I aircraft reached to participate in this it is Australia. Right more than 3000 personals over 32 nations took part in this exercise Kakandu. Next who will most likely to become the world's first trillionaire by 2027 according to the report of Informa Connect Academy. so elon musk by 2027 it is expected he will become the first trillion trillionaire he is increasing his net worth by almost 110% every year second trillionaire that is expected will be from india gautam adani and he is expected to become a trillionaire in 2028 he is increasing his net worth by almost 123% annually next who is set to be reelected as the president of fih for a second term so mohammad tayeb ikram he is uh, said to be reelected as the president of fih for the second term next which of the following person is not one of the six senior advocates who were recently appointed by the appointments committee of the cabinet to serve as additional solicitor general in the supreme court of india correct who is not one of them so tushar mehta is not one among them rest four are the right options next name the england cricketer who recently announced his retirement from international cricket so moin ali has recently announced his internet uh, retirement from the international cricket he used to play for england's cricket team next which state has recently announced the formation of their state institution for transformation grit to help realize the vision of a vixit or a developed state by 2047 so this state is gujarat right it is also the manufacturing semiconductor manufacturing hub of india also gujarat 
comment they have announced the formation of GRIT that is your what does this GRIT stands for this is a Gujarat State Institution for Transformation that is great this is a think tank that is modeled on the help with the help of Niti Aayog and this will help the state Gujarat to become developed by 2047 next which company has recently announced a collaboration with the international business machines to design advanced processors focusing on innovation functionality and performance it is lnt semiconductor technologies this partnership aims to develop reliable secure and scalable computing solutions for the various applications 